Yo, it's time to check out Transformers Prime Season 3, Episode 12. The penultimate episode is here, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. Now that Ratchet decided to help the Decepticons create Cybermatter, perhaps he has a plan up his sleeve, or maybe he really does want to get Cybertron back because we know how much he longs for it, but I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. But before we jump in, do me a huge favor and absolutely obliterate that like button. And if you're new here and you enjoy the Transformers content, maybe hit that subscribe button as well because I plan on checking out more Transformers Beyond Prime. Let's go, man. What are we getting in this episode of TFP Season 3? You sure we don't need to install a GPS on our scout here? Oh, that's right. Too risky. Both sides are getting real good at rooting out that kind of track. Laser Beak 2.0. So, Not really. Tracker. We have Optimus. Yeah. He's going to follow it. My man, he has the sky now, dude. See you coming, big guy? Not until it's too late. We'll be prepared for immediate mobilization upon your command. Sir. All right, man. Rescue mission for Ratchet. Only Ratchet might not want to be rescued. Fetch me the quantum cyber measure. Who's he working with? Knockout. Do I look like hired help to you? These... <laughs> well, you are now. And according to Shockwave. Attend to the needs of our esteemed guests. <laughs> As you command. That's right. Shockwave's in charge. I want to see these two interact, though. Shockwave and Ratchet. And to think that had we not let you destroy the beasts, none of this would be possible. Let? Why would you tell him that, Knockout? Yeah, <laughs> Those specimens you requested earlier aren't going to prepare themselves, are they? You probably should watch what you say when you're on the Decepticon ship as well, bro. Like, what if Predaking was listening or something? Granted, he's a big bot. I doubt he can hide, but you never know, man. Apparently, fetching is all I'm good for lately. You're a gopher, bro. It wasn't all that long ago I used to run this lab. <laughs> yeah, well, you messed up, bro. Wait, what? Why is that empty? Everyone's gopher. Why'd that one look like it was empty? Well, let's go. An opportunity. Yes. The, the isoprope. I don't see one. What a surprise. Oh. Nice save, Ratchet. Okay, so there is liquid in that one. It just looked like there was none. Dude, isn't that gonna like slam shut once he gets it out? Oh, this is intense. Oh no, dude, he's right. Thank you. Yo. You're welcome. <laughs> getting some respect, bro. Getting some gratitude, huh, Knockout? Starscream, you did destroy the Autobot base, did you not? With great nah, but you didn't confirm, bruh. Because laser beak's frequency has been detected on radar. But that's not possible. He's right here in Soundwave's torso. Tore a piece off, brother. This would appear to be an Autobot trick designed to uncover our position and rescue a certain prisoner. I love how quick Megs is, bro, on the pickup. <gasps> the final piece of the puzzle. What is it? You got it? Thank you, Decepticon Engineering. Oh, it's good for something, right? Assembly of the Omega Lock is entering the final stage. Your guidance is required. Understood, my leash. All right, bro. Optimus is on the way. I can't allow Megatron to possess the stabilized formula. Yeah, he's going to destroy Earth. Not now or ever. Yeah, bro, you knew he wasn't joining the Decepticons, bro. Come on now. I mean, I was really surprised last episode, but you know, in the moment. The formula's instability. It must have triggered a chain reaction. Guards, help me extinguish this inferno before it scorches. And now we have smoke, so Ratchet can uh, possibly escape, right? Let's go, dude. There you go, Ratchet. Who said you can't be in the field, my guy? Optimus Prime. How dare you continue to live? <laughs> Yo, that's cold, bro. How dare you? All right, man, it's time. Optimus versus Starscream in the sky, baby. More like an accident, really. I it, it out. The prisoner has escaped. <laughs> Yo, man. On the precipice of greatness, Megatron, and 
It's about to be foiled by the Doctor of Doom, bruh. Which is such a fitting name considering he was going to help the Decepticons last episode, right? Even though we know he's not now. Meanwhile, we got this happening. This is wild, man. I mean, he's literally Cybertron's last hope and Earth's last hope as well, you know? We, they don't want the Decepticons getting that... Getting that cyber matter. Oh. If you terminate me, you'll never get your hands on the formula. True. Oh, I wouldn't be so certain, Doctor. Oh, experts oh that's right. To disentangle your false trail as we speak. Oh, they're going to reverse engineer it. I need a brown bridge now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to follow him back and find out where the base is and, you know. Nah, no good, bro. Dude, so how's Ratchet gonna get out, out of the, uh, the ship now, man? That the synthetic Energon is stable. The formula is now complete. And your timetable for production? With the aid of hyper-acceleration technology, not long. Yo! A pity you won't live long enough to witness the fruits of your labor. But as much as we appreciate your contributions, Doctor, I've made a promise to someone that I intend to keep. To who? Oh, the Predator King, bro. He just threw him into the lair of the beast. Do you feel defenseless, Autobot? Oh! <gasps> yeah, boo, 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 boo. Now you know what my fellow Predacons endure. <laughs> Yeah, but he knows the truth. Knockout, let it slip. Tell Predaking, bro. Lord Megatron, synthesis of the cyber matter required to cyberform Earth has commenced. Splendid, Shockwave. Move the Omega Lock into position. I want to be ready. Well, we're starting with Earth first. Riddance to a wretched species. Although I will say they manufacture some fine looking automobiles. <laughs> At least he likes that, dude. I mean, at least he likes the humans a little bit as far as like their style and stuff. Doesn't like the human movies though, right? Bro, he just needs to open his mouth and try to reason with this thing, bruh. If he finds out that Megatron allowed his brethren to be killed. But if you want to avenge your cohorts, don't stop with me. Keep avenging all the way to Megatron. Yeah, dude. Tell him. Let him know the truth, bro. What do you mean? Your high and mighty leader wanted your Predacons exterminated. Let him know. Simply allowed us Yo. to do his dirty work for it. Dude, are we going to see him go after Megatron? Then rise above your base instincts and analyze the situation. Yes, dude. Think about it. Stop getting all mad, bro. Energon was clearly planted to lure us there by bro. Megatron. Bro. Why would my Lees wish to destroy us? You're a threat. He was afraid of you. The receiving end of your might. One theory springs to mind. <laughs> yeah, dude. Megatron fears you. He fears the king, dude. Oh, yo. We're going to get Megatron versus Predator King, dude. <laughs> yo. Two of my favorites going at it, bro. You found out the truth, Big M. Autobot base, do you read? This is Ratchet. Can anyone hear me? Loud and clear, old friend. Let's go, dude. Yo, this is crazy. Megatron has managed to rebuild the Omega Lock on board his warship. I deactivated the Decepticon shielding system. You should Let's, be able go. To Let's go. Let's go. Autobots, lock on to those coordinates. Yo, this is going to be crazy. Yo! Our leader. We're going in and we're going People are like, I thought you loved the Decepticons, bro. Why are you rooting for the Autobots? I root for all of them, bro. The back and forth is so damn good in this series, man. Autobot and human. It has been my honor to lead you. Yo, this is hype. The fates of two worlds hang in the balance. This is epic, bro. Are you sure confronting the beast bot directly is the best option, Lord Megatron? We shall see how 
His Majesty fares against the most powerful weapon in our vault, the Dark Star Saber. Bro! Oh my goodness, bro. If Predator King steals the Dark Star, Star Saber, bro, I'm gonna lose my mind. Megatron! I'll just go fetch that little something we talk. <laughs> that you ordered the annihilation of my army. Indeed. And my only mistake was not seeing the extermination through. Oh, this is sick. Yo, I want Predator King to win, bro. I love Megatron, but Predator King's my new favorite. You see Starscream's face? He can't believe he's getting met. Gonna use the Viacon against him. Damn, bro. Damn. Come on, Predator King. Show him who's the king, bro. Make him kneel. Bro, did he just... Mm. No, bro. You should have heeded my advice and faced me as a beast. No, dude. I mean, he ain't done, bro. Can't he just transform and fly? Report. Lord Megatron, the ship is under attack by the Autobots. Now what, right, Megatron? The ship is cloaked. How is that possible? Ratchet. The medic lives. Doctor of Doom, baby. Yo, I love how calm Megatron is, though, bro. Like, he's just like, let's go. Prime wishes to wage a battle for the fate of both Earth and Cybertron. Then I shall oblige him. <laughs> this will be our last stand. Yo, so sick, dude. That's my screenshot right there. So damn sick, bro. Dedicated to the memory of Armin Mizayan. Who's that? One of the uh, one of the writers, or maybe a voice actor. Bro, what an absolutely sick pen ultimate episode of TFP. There's no way the Predator King is dead, bro. I can't see him being dead yet. I feel like he's gonna show up in the next episode and maybe help the Autobots. But I would love to see him wield the Dark Star Saber. That would be absolutely insane. But it looks like we're gonna be getting Megatron versus Optimus 2.0 while Megatron is wielding the Star Saber. So this should be very interesting because it's sort of like a new battle between them, right? Optimus is powered up. He's his 2.0 version. And then Megatron is also using the Star Saber, which we've seen him use in the past, but it should be a pretty cool battle in the next episode. I would love to hear your thoughts on this episode, though. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.